Hello, and welcome to Storytime. I'm Jesse from the Fountain Valley Library, and today we're going to be reading A Unicorn Named Sparkle, written and illustrated by Amy Young with permission from Macmillan Publishing. Let's get started. A Unicorn Named Sparkle by Amy Young. Oh, there's a mess. Let's find out what caused that mess. The ad said 25 cents. Lucy sent in the money. She could hardly wait. I will name him Sparkle. He will be blue with a pink tail and a pink mane. And that's what she imagines a unicorn is going to look like. A whole day passed. I will put flowers around his neck and he will let me ride on his back. That'd be cool. Another day passed. I will take him to show and tell. Everyone will love him. I mean, kids would be excited to see a unicorn, right? He might be scared when he gets here. I will give him a cupcake. Sparkle, Sparkle, where are you? I think unicorns might like cupcakes. What about you? Ooh, finally, a big truck rumbled up. It was the unicorn man. He left a large box on the porch. Bah! It's Sparkle! Ooh, Sparkle finally came. The box is a little small though, don't you think? Lucy opened the box carefully, gently, Jump! The cupcake was gone. Sparkle, come back! Sparkle, not the underpants! No! Uh-oh. Sparkle seems to be misbehaving a bit, doesn't he? He's running away, eating the underpants, and eating all the yummy cupcakes. He was not what she expected. He had spots, his ears were too long, he smelled funny. Oh, and he had fleas. Yeah, that's not what she imagined, is it? Pretty different. Lucy put a flower necklace on him. He ate it. She put a tutu on him. He ate that too. He eats a lot, doesn't he? He did not want to be ridden. He bucked her right off. Uh-oh, poor Lucy. He did not want to go to show and tell. Whew, that's a lot of work. Oh, she got him there. And when he got there, he behaved poorly. Bah! Yep, standing on the desk. Screaming pretty loudly. Now all the kids are laughing. Poor Lucy. Lucy doesn't look happy, does she? Oh, Lucy was mad. You are a bad unicorn. She walked away. Sparkle followed her. Hey, stop that! Oh, what, what's he eating? Oh, looks like he's eating her dress. Sparkle. Lucy called the unicorn man. Take him back, I don't want him. Okay, but I can't get there until tomorrow. Lucy could hardly wait. Oh no, she's sending Sparkle back. Poor Sparkle. Leave me alone. Yuck! She doesn't want to play with Sparkle anymore. That night, there was a storm. Sparkle was afraid. Lucy gave him Bear Bear, so he would stop pestering her. It wasn't enough. She had to read him a bedtime story too, and give him warm milk to drink. Wow! Yeah, the thunderstorm must be scaring Sparkle. He licked her hand. She patted his head and said, don't be such a big baby. His fur was very soft. At last, he fell asleep. 
Oh, she did a good job, didn't she? She helped him relax and go to sleep so he wouldn't be scared. Lucy did a good job. The next morning, Lucy watched Sparkle play in the yard. He liked the butterflies, and they liked him too. <laughs> Looks like he's having a little bit of fun now. Some boys came and asked, What's your goat's name? His name is Sparkle, and he is not a goat. He looks like a goat. Well, he is not a goat. He is a special kind of unicorn. What do you guys think? Do you think he looks like a goat? He kind of looks like a goat, right? He does have the unicorn horn, and looks like he makes a lot of rainbows up here, so maybe he is a special type of unicorn. After the boys left, Lucy watched Sparkle play some more. She had to admit, sometimes he made her smile, and sometimes he made her laugh. <laughs> it looks like they're having fun again. He's also pretty good with that ball, isn't he? The unicorn man drove up. Uh-oh. She's still gonna send him away? Okay, let's load him in. Sparkle did not want to get into the box. Yeah, he looks pretty sad. I don't think he wants to go. Probably wants to stay with Lucy. Lucy put a cupcake in the far corner. Sparkle loved cupcakes, so he went in. <gasps> Lucy shut the door. Sparkle asked, Bah! The unicorn man revved his engine and drove away. Oh no, Sparkle's going away. <gasps> Lucy yelled, wait! Sparkle bleated, bah! The truck stopped. Lucy opened the door and Sparkle jumped out. He was so excited that he knocked her down by mistake. Sparkle, Lucy said. Uh -oh, is he in trouble again? Welcome home! Oh, she's keeping him. So nice. And that was A Unicorn Named Sparkle by Amy Young. Now, we're going to learn how to make a felt cupcake so that you can get a unicorn of your own. To make our cupcake, we're going to need a few materials. We'll need felt, scissors, and glue. Okay, to get started, we're going to cut out some shapes from the felt. So we're going to need a cupcake, a wrapper, and some frosting. So you can use whichever colors you like using your felt. And then we need to glue the pieces together. So you're going to place some glue on the cupcake on the bottom portion. And then you are going to put your wrapper on top. Same, decide where you want the frosting, place some glue. And then place your frosting on top. Now, to make the sprinkles, any of the scraps that you have left over, you're going to cut into smaller pieces like this. And then you're going to carefully glue the scraps onto the frosting however you like. Just go ahead and put some glue down and then grab a few pieces and place them on top. You can also make special shapes. I made these blue hearts. And we're going to top it with the blue heart. If you have buttons, you can also place some buttons on there just to give it a bit more shine and texture. Now you have a cupcake to get your very own unicorn. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.